we added new font options. So now you can uh, select a sorcery font for your headlines, which you can see here. And you can also choose if you want to have your headlines bold or regular. I changed that in the customizer. So here on the theme, you have the option typography and you can choose here the headline font to be serif or sans serif and to be the headline font uh, bold or regular. And you can also um, choose this also new option, the buttons to be uppercase like here or in lowercase. And this also applies to the main menu. So now here it is uppercase and also the categories in the block and if I refresh now, it's all lowercase. We have also new styles here under um, styling for the theme. So um, you can choose the buttons to be sharp, rounded or round. Now the, all the buttons change at once. So you don't have to choose each button individually. They will all apply automatically. And then you have also your avatar styles to be circle, rounded or square. And this applies, for instance, to all the avatars. Uh, for instance, here we have also redesigned the archive view. So now you have a nice um, author information on the top and then you see all the posts of each author. So that is a nice new option as well. And here you could also set the styling to round it. I published that to show you. So now all avatars on the whole website will be in rounded style and all buttons uh, will be round. We also added a second uh, link hover color for all the buttons. So if you hover over them, you can now choose the a new color. We also updated the styling for text links and um, yeah, you can choose um, the second link color in the customizer under theme colors. Uh, we also added under blog the option to customize the excerpt lengths for posts and sticky posts. So now you can customize the length of this text and also the length of these excerpts text here in the uh, blog. So this is nice if you choose, um, for instance, the one column layout. Uh, you maybe want to have uh, more text showing and if you want to have the three column um, layout, you want to have um, a less text. Next, we added the option to have six columns in uh, the footer for, widget, for the widget area in the footer, which is nice. And of course, you can choose here um, the color to be uh, a dark footer background or a light footer background and you can change the font accordingly. So you can cha change the option here. Of course, you can also choose uh, a color for that. And the font here according to your preferences. And the mobile menu will automatically adapt to the footer background size now. Uh, this is a new option we added. So it will adapt the footer background color. Since our main focus, of course, at the moment is Gutenberg and updates for the upcoming new editor, uh, we focus again to optimize the post um, for Gutenberg. So if I go now in the Gutenberg editor area, the styles will um, exactly match the front end or your later output of the post. And we optimized a lot of uh, styles and options for this. Um, so another nice thing we did because we have the font options here um, that if you change the font options for your headlines in the customizer, um, let's say to bold and sorcery. And of course, then you have this in your post. Um, you of course want to have it also in the editor. So if you now go to the editor, the styles you set in the customizer will adapt in the Gutenberg editor. Um, this is a new feature we added in the latest update. 
So in general, the newest update is a design update and we included some general design features to adapt uh, that you are able to adapt the theme. And the next step for us will be to uh, build our first custom uh, blocks for Gutenberg and the Pukeko theme so that you will able to uh, only use the new default editor for all your theme settings and page buildings. And this will come in the next update. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, roundup of our latest Bukiko theme features. And let us know if you have any questions or if you um, want to see some new um, features or uh, some specific things you would love to use in the theme, just let us know at any time. Thank you so much. Bye.